Well, hello, fellow YouTubers. This is Kat from an Itty Bitty Homestead. Happy New Year's, since I don't think I've said it yet, and it's already in, in January. Uh, well, not actually. I'm recording this two days after Christmas, but by the time you see it, it'll be the middle, roughly the end of, towards the end of January. Anyway, I have been having bags of beans sitting on my counter, waiting for me to can since November. And I can't take it anymore. So, got my big canner out. Got a whole bunch of lids. Uh, just, I let them come to a simmer. Now I turned them off. And I've got a whole bunch of pint jars all laid out here. And I am starting with kidney beans. And I am just, because beans all take, excuse me, got a itchy eye. Uh, because beans all take the same amount of time. I'm just doing mishmash of beans. So I'm going to finish up these kidney beans and then I'm going to do lentils. And then if that doesn't fill my pot, I've got another new variety to me of beans. Um, I'll tell you about them when I'm going to can them. They were gifted to me uh, by a friend of mine from our dog park. And, um, yeah, he's very script. He just says, do you like beans? <laughs> yeah, I like beans. No, he asked me this like four months ago. And lo and behold, these Spanish beans show up on my doorstep on Christmas morning. So um, anyway, so we're going to see how far we can get. I'm doing a dry canning, cold canning method, which means nothing is hot. My, my canner's not hot. My jars aren't hot. My beans aren't hot. My water to go in the jars is not hot. Everything's just sitting here at room temperature. All my jars are sterilized. I sterilize them before I put them away, and then I store them upside down and covered. So uh, I know the insides stay uncontaminated, and I'm I'm ready to rock and roll with that. So um, with that said, I'm also not using the Tatler lids because if you watch my last video, which was me canning celery, uh, I had five failures and um, I threw all those gaskets away. I got so mad and um, I don't understand it. It was a weird phenomenon uh, because I followed the rules exactly as Tatler said to do it. So next time I use Tatler lids and I feel like I'm going to be brave enough, I'm going to do the method I always used to do. Anyway, which I learned from Linda at Linda's Pantry. But at any rate, I am, um, yeah, so discouraged with the Tatler lids. I couldn't believe it. Could not believe it. Five failures. It's like, wow. Uh, anyway, so I have now got that celery uh, on my dehydrator. I figure it won't go, go to waste. I'll dehydrate it and then throw it in my jar with my mixed vegetables for soup. Okay, let's see. Is that it? Have I said everything? I think so. Well, if I've forgotten anything, I'll bring you on back. But for now, why don't I bring you in and give you guys a bird's eye view of me filling these jars with um, beans. <laughs> okay, so I've got four jars done already. I am putting in um, a half a cup of dry beans for pints, and I believe it's one cup for quarts. And then when I put the water in, it is important that you leave uh, a solid one inch of headspace. Now, these beans have been washed and sorted through. My hands have been washed a couple times. Okay. And pull these guys. So I don't quite have a half a cup. So, I think that's a real drag. Um, it's a very short half a cup, but it's close enough, right? No, not really. So, I'm going to set these guys aside and I will mix in some of the other beans. Because beans are beans, right? All right, so. Sorry if I seem a little lost. In here, I've got some pure white vinegar. And my little towel at the ready. Now I'm 
I get my pad to put the hot pot on. Okay, so sorry for the steam. I think you guys can see okay. All right, so first things first, we're going to put in cold water. One inch mark. And even though pouring in the water is stirring up the beans, um, I definitely still want to use my pokey joe. Because you don't want an air bubble, uh, oops, forgot these two, an air bubble stuck in the bottom here. Now, I'm going to dip hot water and then vinegar, okay? And there is some vinegar. Woo, that's really hot. There is some vinegar um, in this hot water. That helps to remove anything from the lids. I'm using the button tops. And I hate, I hate, hate, hate to do that because I'm not going to be giving these beans to anyone. Sometimes the way the light comes in this window, it hits these jars. It makes it look like there's something all around the rim. Well, I know there's not. Okay. There we go. Now, I got my rings over here. I seem a little disorganized doing it is because I am a little bit, um, this wasn't exactly my plan for today, but all right, into the pressure canner. And I've got my 22 quart pressure canner all ready to go. Right, let's just do this. <laughs> I do much better when I do like all the lids and then I come back and do all the rings. How do you like to do it? Do you like to do it one at a time? Remember, finger tip tight. And if a ring gives you a hard time going on, just pitch it. Bet you you got lots of rings. Okay, there we go. So, six pints of kidney bean, uh, uh, yeah, kidney beans. Okay, and I'm going to wash up the lentils and we'll be right back. Okay. Okay. lentils per pint. This is going to speed up the process when I want to make 
lentil salad or lentil and uh, potato soup. I use some canned potatoes I'm practically in my homemade broth. I mean, everything's right out of the pantry, right? And partially cooked. And the lentils may end up being completely cooked. inch headspace. Now, let's scoop out whatever is floating. Okay. Hot water, vinegar, wipe these ribs down. So important, wipe all your ribs. Look at them. Now, I like to wipe the ribs and the cross threads a little bit. That's where that thing's going to have to seal.
Now for the other beans, I'm going to see how much I can do. And I'm going to measure that one out. Um, get that water still hot. I'm going to put the lid back on it. Okay. Remember, finger tight. Sorry about my dogs barking. That's my 14-year-old dog. He's deaf. And um, so I have to literally go out and tap him so he'll stop barking. What he's barking at? Nobody knows. Oh, looks like he gave up on himself. All right, he's back in the house. All right. So, in the canner, I'm going to get the other beans ready, and I'll bring you guys back. All right, so, ugh, these are the beans I'm going to be using. Um, I've inquired online from Sutton Day's friends and have been informed that these are gold. So, thank you very much, Brian, who I know does not watch my channel. <laughs> he just, you know... He doesn't even take my food. But anyway, he provides me at stuff. So I am grateful. Is that how you open this? Nope. All right. Uh, let's see. So I need a total of... Okay, I can do eight more bags. How do I do this? So I don't want to necessarily open it all the way. Part way. Oh, aren't they pretty? Okay. So I'm going to do um, four, five, seven. In a little bit okay so this is what they look like aren't they pretty so I don't know how to pick out the bad ones but that one's brown so okay so that's um one just saw a rock there's a rock real rock oh my goodness lots of rocks in here Okay, I'll bring you back when I've sorted these out because it's got lots of chunks of dirt and rock. Okay, I haven't washed them yet, but that's all I could find. A couple bad beans and mostly these little clumps of dirt rocks. I'm hoping though, the ones that I missed, I'm hoping will dissolve. So, bring you back. All right, here we go. it right in. Hopefully this is a bad bean, not a piece of dirt. And I washed these for a while and I'm hoping any dirt just dissolved. And I rubbed it, you know, up against the screen, the strainer. So here's hoping. Okay. Nope, oh, nope. Found a soft rock. It's mushy, like clay. All right, well, let me go back to scrubbing these some more. Okay, I just rinsed them again. That could have been what went flying out of this cup when I moved it. Because these really do look clean now. Okay, I forgot.
pretty sure that's what that was. It was just a piece that slipped out of here. Um, but there's not a lick of dirt here in the bottom. Okay. So hopefully that comes up to about half a cup. So I was told you use these just like pinto beans, but they taste better. All right. We'll see, I guess. All right. Now... Space. Okay, there you go. I did turn you guys on, yeah. When I was raising my daughter, um, I just didn't have time. I did some canning, but not, not like I do now. And I used to make my own broth, but then I would just freeze it, you know. But that's what was easier at the time. Okay, I'm gonna need more water. Okay. So let me get more water in here. So in the meantime, I will dip and dip and wait. Okay, last one. I should fill my canner. Then I'm going to turn my canner on and bring it up to temp slow. So what that means is I'm not going to crank, excuse me, I'm not going to crank this on high um, to bring it up to, you know, temperature fast. I'm going to put it more on a um, medium high. Okay, there we go. Now I don't add any salt and you don't need to add salt uh, for part of the canning. Some people like to add salt for flavor. Um, I prefer to salt my things as I use them. Okay. It's warm here today. I mean, warm for winter, I guess. Not warm for a lot of people. Well, it might be heat wave for people like up in Michigan or somewhere, but not here. Like, I don't know, 54, something like that. California. Ironically, where I live, which is inland from San Francisco, we were warmer than San Francisco a couple days ago by 10 degrees. That was weird. I mean, that happens so rarely. Okay, fingertip tight. rings after I use them they either get a good hot water and soap hand wash for me and then they go into the oven 
on a cookie sheet for about 25 minutes on um, 220 degrees to dry and to sterilize before I put them back in with all their buddies in the holder. Um, or they go in my dishwasher. There we go. Okay, so I am now going to put, let me bring it here. Sorry, oh, Mama, I'm a hot mess. Um, I'm going to put these into the canner and I'm going to slowly bring it up to a boil until it starts venting a steady stream of steam. Yeah, I said that right. No, I said it right. Um, and then I'm going to uh, let that go for 10 minutes. At the end of 10 minutes, I am then going to put my, my 10 pound pressure on and let it come up to between 10 and 11 uh, PSI. And at which time I will then set my timer for 75 minutes. Yeah. And then at the end of that, when it's, when my alarm goes off that it's done, then I will just, um, I will turn off the burner, let everything come down to zero, let the little um, thingy majiggy plop down, and then I will take the 10 pound weight off, and I'll let it sit for another five minutes or so, uh, and then I will crack, I will partially twist the lid and lift it a little bit so steam can come out and I'll let that sit for another five or ten minutes then I'll take the lid off and take my jars out okay and I'll bring you guys back when that's all done isn't that pretty all right there's the lentils and I am pleased they look great there's those Aztec, whatever they were called, beans. Excuse me. And then here is the kidney beans. So far, I just took them out of the counter, so they're still popping. Still boiling a little bit. Whoops, sorry. I did have some siphoning. The water was quite dirty. And I can see the siphoning in these, this jar right here. This one. Uh-huh couple of the jars I think <clears throat> maybe it was just, just this jar I don't know can't tell this one I didn't have quite as much expansion on the beans but this might be the jar where I mix the two I think that's the, the case with this all right well if you like these kind of videos and would like to see more remember thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so and share because sharing is caring all right thanks for sticking to the end and see you guys in the next video Bye.